Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening! Last time we got the magic powder, and basically it doubles as the lamp from the previous game, where you use it on like a torch there or something, and it lights it up for some reason, I don't know why. And if you ever run out of magic powder, if you really wanted to, you could pick the mushroom again, it would be back, and she would make more powder for you. Whoa! What happened to that guy? Usually using powder on enemies will kill them outright, but if you use it on that guy, he becomes Jamaican. Hey, man! And he electrocutes me. Ow! Thanks. Thanks, game. I, I don't know why magic powder makes and makes those jelly guys Jamaican. Uh, you got me on that one, viewers. Ha! Okay, so now we got that magic powder. Remember someone was saying that they were a rather, I don't know, sensitive to magic powder? Let's give it a try on them. Yeah, I just like killing enemies just to get piece of power. So let's see, here's the uh, raccoon here. Let's try the magic powder on him. Whoa, he's arcanoiding. Get out of the way, get out of the way, Link. No, no, he can't hurt you. Hey, it's my, I mean, uh, Terran. Ah, so he must have uh, actually tried eating the mushroom, huh? Remember the old saying, viewers, don't eat the mushroom. He'll turn into a raccoon, and he'll send you warping all over a forest. I didn't know what that expression meant, said a spell when I first played this game. I was like, well, what does that mean? And I cast a spell or something like that? No, no. But anyway, for doing that, we get access to this chest here, which has the tail key. All right. And we can open the tail cave and go into our first dungeon. All right. Yeah, the message with the key said so. Kind of figured that. An instrument. So what about Triforce pieces? We're not going to be looking for crystals or anything like that anymore? Oh, well. Now well, let's take a look around what's past that chest there. Kapango Swamp? Okay. Well, we can't get over there yet. Man, there's all these pits everywhere. I mean, how am I supposed to get past them? If only I had an item to get over those pits. I, I like how they do that in these Zelda games where they create situations like that heart piece that was surrounded by pits where, like, if you based... Oh, apparently only Bow Wow can go here. But, like, if you thought about it from the perspective of the previous games, or the items you had there, you'd be like, well, how am I supposed to possibly get that? There's no way I can get that. But then, in this game, they introduce new items and such that allow you to get things in ways that you couldn't do it in the previous games. So, I like that. Uh, I was just seeing if, uh, Orira would have any, any new information for me. <coughs> Sorry, Orira makes me throw up in my mouth every now and then. But yeah, um, so there you are. Okay, well let's get back to the village then. Now that I have enough rubies, I can do a whole bunch of mini games there and a whole bunch of other things if these moblins will get out of my way. There we go. Yeah, let's use the magic powder on them. Sets them on fire! Holy cow. It's like a single targeting Bombos effect. Too bad we don't really get magic like we did in the previous games, but oh well. Well, stay away from me, man. Okay, let's see. What do I want to do first? Let's go for the fishing game. Why not? I think you need 10 rubies to play the game. I think you need 10 rubies for all the mini games. now that I think about it. Sure, why not? Sounds like a great idea. One of the very few fishing mini games in a video game that I actually like. Okay, there we go. So, what I want to do is wait for that left fish to be over on the left, hold left, and let my lure get past him. Damn it. He, uh, got, he latched onto it. Oh well. But yeah, just press the A and B button over and over again, and you reel him in. So much less annoying than it was in uh, Ocarina of Time! And Majora's Mask, too. I really like Majora's Mask, though. Okay, yeah, I, I don't need to hear this message again. Okay, so let's go for the big fish, because 
Well, as you might be able to guess, the bigger fish have better rewards. But you do have to tap the buttons a little faster, too, in order to reel them in. Huh. I remember that being a lot harder. Okay, so we get 20 rubies here. So, see, I have 81 rubies now. Watch this. Oh. It actually does give me 20 rubies. Huh. In the, in the black and white version of the game, they screwed it up because when, they, when you uh, get the 20 rubies, they entered it into the game's code as 20 in hexadecimal, which when you convert it into decimal is actually 32 rubies. So whenever he says you're winning 20 rubies, then you, you actually get 32 because they screwed it up like that. But anyway, yeah, let's just clear out the last of these small fish because getting that one big fish over there is kind of hard. It's kind of staying in that one little corner there. Sorry for, uh, well, I guess kind of wasting your time with that, but eh. Not a big fan of seafood, but, you know, we can get some pretty good prizes for this if I can, uh, okay, just reel it in. Just be careful. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Yes, got him. Okay, this one's a little hard. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, got him. Okay, and it comes with a piece of heart. All right. And we get 20 rubies on top of that. Sure, let's try again. Oh, sure, can I borrow your uh, fishing rod for that? Oh, run along now, getting a little too rambunctious there. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, let's try that other mini game at, uh, well, the trendy game. Is uh, Taryn back yet? Yeah, he is, he's sleeping here. Oh, okay, well, I, I thought he might say something special. I, I was wrong, sorry, sorry. Okay, well, let's see how this, uh, what I can win at this game. Remember, someone was saying that they were looking for that Yoshi doll? Well, let's go grab it. It's pretty easy to get because, well, it's stationary there. The other items, you gotta kind of know how it works there. So, press the B button, get it all the way over to the middle there, hold the A button, drop it right on, on right, right down on Yoshi, and there you go. And like I was saying, you can get um, magic powder here, and that's pretty much the preferred way of refilling it. I could have done that earlier just to get the magic powder and skip that whole, you know, sequence there in the mysterious forest, but I figured, you know, let's show a little more storyline here. Yeah, really. I mean, back when this was coming out, uh, Yoshi was kind of new. Now you can see in the upper right corner there, there th there's your trading item, the Yoshi doll there. Um, in the DX version, or both the Game Boy Color version, if you press select, you can see how many heart pieces you got, what kind of armor you've got, and there's some photos there on the bottom there, too. I'll be showing how to do all that stuff, so. But yeah, they don't have that in the, uh, original, uh, version of the game there, so. That's one thing I like about how they did this remake, is that not only did they, you know, add some bonus content to make it worth it for you to buy, but... You know, they also added some nice little conveniences for you, too, like that. So, that's pretty nice. Sure, why not? Link is a caring soul. Or a generous soul, that too. And for giving her the Yoshi Dao, we get the ribbon. Yeah, this is the start of the trading sequence in the game. This is the first time in Zelda games where they introduced that. Uh, before... Uh, even before Ocarina of Time. So basically, you trade one item, you get another item, and so on and so forth until you get something really, really good at the end. So, remember someone who was looking for some nice accessories to protect from status elements? Yes. If you give, uh, if you talk to, uh, what is this, uh, girl's name anyway? Well, if you talk to her with the ribbon, she'll ask for it. For dog food? I like how they add the ribbon on her sprite there. That's pretty nice. All right, now we got the dog food, which is full of juicy beef, I guess. I don't know what the point of all that is, but... Now, anyway, I'm not going to bother getting the shovel right now. Uh, if you want to, you can go on ahead and play the trendy game and go ahead and take care of that. Okay, I'll just grab that. But yeah, you can play the trendy game and get those 30 ruby tokens over and over and over again. Or rupee, sorry. I'm just pronouncing it too fast. I know it's rupees. But yeah, I mean, you can get rubies pretty easily that way. 
Remember Sale was saying that he was looking for some canned food? Well, now we have some for him. Please, give me the dog food right now! I, I, I'll bite your head off! Okay, okay, man. Well, you're gonna eat it? I thought you said your cousin was using it for artwork or something like that. Oh, okay, he's giving me some bananas in exchange for that. Must be a pretty good banana smuggler. Okay, well that's everything we can do here, so now let's head on to the tail cave and see what awaits us in there. Next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off with a piece of power! Have a good day.